Hello, my name is Birgitta and this year I'm watching all the participants in Eurovision Song Contest 2021. Uh, we've reached Georgia uh, and uh, I know that it's the same guy who participated last year uh, that's going to return and the name of the song this year is You. Uh, last year I was not a big fan, I have to admit, I know lots of people liked it, um, but I did not. Um, I'm hoping, of, you know, from my perspective, that I'm going to like this song much better. And the only way to find out is to watch it. Let's go. I'm a bit shocked. <laughs> I'm pausing. Um, I'm thinking, is this like a Corona song? Because, uh, yeah, I kind of get into the theme about... You know, because he's lonely and the only thing we cannot meet people. So we, all we have is like nature. Is that the thing? Uh, I'm a bit surprised too. I thought it would be like rock music. But this sounds, I think he has like a rock voice. Uh, and then, But then you have with the, you know, uh, the drums and it sounds very synth. Uh, I'm on the fence about this so far. I'm, but I'm very intrigued and I want to see where it goes. So let's continue. I like the video with the nature. Oh, this is nice. Go for it. Hmm, very interesting. I did not see that coming. I I can you know immediately say that I like this much more than uh, last year's song. Uh, it's kind of simple, but I, you know it doesn't have to be that complicated if you have a straightforward message. I thought about like this that I put this in the same genre as Bulgaria song, uh, and I, to me they are like touching on the same subject, or that's how I see them. And in that video, I also talked about that with a song because people are like, "Oh, but this, this song is about this and that," and I think that a song is what I, how I interpret it. That's what the song means to me. Uh, and it might mean other things to other people, but I put though I think that those songs are I put them in like a genre with uh, like Corona songs and about that this has been like such a lonely year for many of us. Um, yeah, and that's a powerful message, and it doesn't have to be all that complicated. You can get into it and associate and relate to the song immediately. I think he did that really well, and I think that if he performs the song uh, in a really nice way or with the choir and then with and everything like in the second half of the song it can be really impactful and, and lots of people are, would like it I would I'm interested to see him do that actually so I'm I'm positive uh, I can dig this uh, and especially it's a heartfelt message I felt it um, do I th how do I think it's gonna go for it yeah no I think that I don't know if other people like put those in the same category because you know I'm, I'm not sure if are they in, in how they are in the semis and uh, no no but I think that this is like if people feel the way I do and relate to it the way I do I think that's you know lots of people are going to feel it and, and um, you know vote for it and then we might I think we're going to see one of one of them in the final final at least um, Bulgaria and uh, Georgia um and but i don't think it's gonna win it depends you know with those, it, with both of those songs it depends on the staging like if they do it really really impactful and people you know sit at home and cry people are gonna vote for them of course so who knows i i think that those are like kind of dark horses in my world um but let's find out in the semis and in the final but what do you think do you like this is this your uh, favorite um, or don't you like it at all? Maybe you wish that he had sung something that was more like what he sung last year. Let me know in the comments and have a fabulous day. Bye bye.